Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your three cards for November 2018. So I hope you enjoyed October with uh, Thanksgiving and Halloween if you celebrated it. When we're moving through the sign of Libra, like we were, we are moving through your house of family and home. So you might have seen some action or adjustments or movement on that side and the domestic side of your life this month. But we've also had a lot of planets in Scorpio and we can will continue to have a inf strong influence in Scorpio all the way up to the holidays. So all fall sort of has this feel to it. And um, for you, Scorpio is your uh, 11th house, which is networking and the groups you belong to, the communities you belong to. So that might really be emphasized over the fall. And when Scorpio rules that, it's, it's um, you're going to be maybe more intense or passionate or private about what those groups are, or maybe how they meet or what they're about, who you select to have in your tribe. But that could have been uh, quite the focus for you this fall. But let's take a look and see what your cards say. Just going to light our sage now. So just imagine that the smoke is all around you, cleansing and purifying anything in, on, or around us. No longer for our highest good, take it all to the light. And we're purifying the cards as well. So here we go, three cards for you. Your first card is the lovers. Next card is the hangman. And the next card is the empress. Very interesting. So this is uh, a month about family and relationships still, it looks like. Although the lovers isn't always about love, it can be any kind of partnerships and choices that we have to make. But I feel for some reason this one's really relationship related. Now the hangman means that you're in a period where you feel like you might be sort of painstakingly making slow progress, slow, steady, maybe almost imperceptible progress or possibly sacrifices in your relationship life. Um, the other thing that comes to mind with the Empress is once in a while it is the card of pregnancy. Now, could mean you could mean someone around you could mean it's just on your mind would you like would you like uh, another a child or another child or is there one around you who is suddenly becoming more significant in your life the hangman though means nothing's decided overnight nothing's nothing's moving quickly even though there's um, it's funny, there's a mix of a lot of love and a bit of strain in these cards, if I'm honest. So, I'm trying to think of advice, because it just seems to be, it is what it is. I mean, there's times in life where there's no right or wrong or good or bad or something to do or change. It just is what it is. If you're, if you're uh, planting a tomato there's a process and it can't be rushed and we don't judge the tomato. Well, why didn't you grow faster? You know, why didn't you ripen sooner? What could I do to make it ripen tomorrow? Well, you can't, you know, so, so you're in sort of a chapter like that when it comes to your relationship life where there's just a long life, normal process that you're going through to learn that will transform you but slowly. The hangman means it's one of the transformation cards in the deck where 
day by day, because your routines are different, because you have to put yourself aside and, and usually do things for others with the hangman, you might feel sometimes stuck or bored or I wish I could break free and do something else. But by the time the cycle ends with that sacrifice or transition, you will look back and realize that you're a stronger person than you were and you're different. You, you value things and look at things differently than you did, in a, usually in a positive way. It's a maturing kind of card. And um, what you're maturing towards is the nurturing card of the Empress, which is sort of the mother, the nurturer, um, understanding your power in a feminine, more understated kind of way. Think about how somebody draws people to them without having, hey, come here, come on, come on or pushing them, how they just hold hold that space where people feel they can just come to you. So there's something of that going on, and whether that's playing out in your love life or with somebody else close to you, it could be a parent, child, uh, friends, um, it's really just a month, to, it's just a time to accept that process. Settle into your life, accept what it is, and settle into it and don't don't judge or be so um, pushing yourself so hard to get to the next level yeah <laughs> not easy for ambitious Capricorns all right if you need to reach me for a longer reading I do with them in person and I do it online with video chat so you can reach me at river-rain.com for my free newsletter or listen to any of my radio shows and if you'd like to reach me easier on Facebook, it's Clairvoyant Medium Catherine Allen. You can message me there if you're looking for a reading. All right, have a wonderful month.